Wait, we have tw no, I just picked 20 because I couldn't remember which one was the last one. Oh, it's so we're starting the year. <laughs> what you doing? Taking the dishwasher. You're, you left the, the, the part you hate for last. I saw that. It's just, you know, it's on the bottom. I'm I put them in the right place. Are they in the drawer? Do you open the drawer and are knives and spoons and no, forks in the drawer? Not the when did you become the drawer expert? When did you become, oh, I'll just shove everything in here. And I didn't. Once closed, it, who cares? Why are you letting the work? When did you become a mean age? Did you bully kids in your school? Very nice. Did you cobra kai them? Did you wish you knew karate? <laughs> that's helpful. Okay, fine. How are you doing it? That's so. You have to put them Hold on, in their me... rightful place. <laughs> rightful? They're not, they're not heirs to the throne. The way you treat them. See, there is two different size forks. Small forks in here. Large forks here. Same deal with spoons. Yeah, I agree. All right, I want to show you guys something. I found this um, downstairs, and I've had it for a long time, but I haven't used it. It's called a, uh, a slider, and it's a cool little camera tool. As you can see, here are the parts to it. There's a mount here that holds basically a standard um, mount for the thing you're kind of using your camera. It slides in there and locks. You lock your camera into the slider. This head does what normal heads do for a camera. So it goes up and tilts up and down and it yaws left and right. You can adjust the tension on how much resistance there is, just like you would like on an exercise bike. So you can tr you're trying to make those movements, dial them in to be smooth. But the point of it is, when you stick the camera on here, as you can see there's this plate. Inside the plate are a bunch of bearings and the bearings run on these tracks. And so this thing ends up sliding back and forth like this with the camera on it. The point is, you'll recognize the shot. When you have a camera on this, and you have to manually move this one, although obviously there are ones that are motor driven, it makes really cinematic shots of the camera. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Look, let's put the camera in here. Everything looks crazy dramatic with this thing. It takes a little bit of practice. Okay, so it's locked in, right? You see that? Check this out. It takes some practice to get this smooth and you usually have to set focus, but it's just funny how even mundane things. Look better. Okay, let's go try it. 